Hey everyone, Matt Sicchio here with your membership update. The last time I saw you all, we were getting ready for Paris. We are now back from Paris. We've got two medals in hand. Our first gold medal in 24 years, our first men's medal of any kind in 40 years. This was really a generational set of results for USA Weightlifting at the Paris Olympics. We are so proud of our team. So Hamp, Olivia, Mary, Jordan, and Wes, thanks for all that you did to represent Team USA so strongly. You showed humility, grit, pure strength and joy lifting on the platform, your amazing representatives of Team USA. Next up is LA 2028. So to all our young lifters out there, I uh, hope you're getting ready. Let's go get out and train. Speaking of our young lifters, we just returned from Ecuador with our youth Pan American Championship team. We sent 28 athletes to Ecuador. We brought home 60 medals. Those athletes set nearly 30 personal records. Uh, special congratulations to Diego Yu and Ryan McDonald who brought home best lifter in the U15 and U17 categories, respectively. And Diego also set a Pan American U15 49 kilogram record in the clean and jerk. So thanks to everybody on Team USA who was in Ecuador. Special thank you to the coaches and volunteers who supported that team through that competition. Also on the international scene, we've got two more events I wanna to bring to your attention. Best of luck to all of our masters athletes who are participating in the UMWF championships in Fiji later this month. And then we'll look forward to sending our team to the Junior World Championships in Spain in just a few weeks. Next, a few updates about our domestic events. We just returned from North American Open Series 2 in Fort Worth, Texas. We had over 900 lifters at that event. We had an amazing weekend. A special thank you to our partners at the Fort Worth Sports Commission. We couldn't have done it without you. I also want to thank our uh, friends at the Texas Oklahoma WSO. We appreciate your support as well. Next up on the calendar for us is North American Open Finals in Tucson, Arizona in December. If you're still looking to qualify for that event, the next online qualifier is in October. Results will be uploaded by November the 1st. Looking forward to 2025, I'm very excited to share that we'll be back with North American Open Series 1 at the Arnold Sports Festival in Columbus in March. Uh, in addition, we'll be at Masters Nationals in Atlanta, Georgia in April. That's going to have a special partnership with Powerlifting America, so looking forward to seeing everybody out there lifting at those two events. I hope you're training and preparing. Finally, domestically, I want to share a quick reminder. We have a deadline coming up of September the 23rd for our Youth Coaching Fellowship. If you work with youth athletes or you know a coach who works with youth athletes and you want access to more resources and coaching opportunities, please check out our website and apply for that fellowship before the deadline. My final update for this video is related to our gender inclusion policy. Today, we're issuing an update to that policy. As you know, the conversation around gender inclusion and competitive equity in sport is changing. It's ever evolving. Our approach is also evolving. We've spent the last year consulting with more than 30 members of USAW committees, with coaches, with athletes, with medical professionals. Importantly, our updated policy stays true to USA Weightlifting's values, which is to include anybody who wants to participate in our sport. At the same time, we also take very seriously our role and responsibility to ensure a level playing field. That's why our policy does four important things. First, it exempts youth athletes altogether. Second, it ensures that at the local level, our events and competitions are open to anybody who wants to participate. Third, it defines participation for anybody who wants to change category from male to female and participate in a national level event. And fourth, it remains subject to the IWF's policy for international competitions. With that, I encourage you to go to our website and learn more and read the full policy.